Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Uh, you may have seen my last video tutorial on how to create the uh, glamour shot effect in Photoshop. I'm glad some of you liked it. Uh, we're going to do a three-part tutorial on how to create a uh, space scene with a star field, nebula, and some special effects like lens flare and uh, supernova, that sort of thing. So, uh, first part here, we're going to create the star field, so we're going to create a new full file. 800 by 600, I'm thinking about making a desktop size, say I wanted to make a desktop for my machine. I'm setting the resolution to 120 because if I had it any lower, say like 72, the default resolution for saving files on the internet, um, it uh, probably wouldn't have a high enough resolution and the stars would appear a little fuzzy, so we want to do it at 120. Okay, so there's our new, uh, new picture there. I'm going to take the uh, bucket fill and use black, fill it with black. Now bear with me, I'm going to go a little fast. If some of you uh, are not that experienced with Photoshop, just follow along, pause it, rewind it. Uh, I'm assuming that most of the people watching this have a little bit of experience with Photoshop and will know what I'm doing. So, Alrighty, so there we go. We've got the black. Now we're going to make a new layer and set this one to white, and I'm going to do a fill on this. Now that white layer, I'm going to set it to dissolve. Okay. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity of that later. Now, now normally when you reduce the opacity of a layer, it just kind of fades it out, but when you're doing dissolve, it's going to fade it to dots, which is where the stars are going to come from. Okay, for file this size, getting it down to about 3 or 4 percent is pretty good. So we'll try it at 4 percent. Now I need to do a Gaussian blur on those stars as part of the technique here, but I have to combine it with another color so it has something to blur with. So I will merge the two visible layers, merge visible. There we go, I have one layer now with the black and white dots. I'm going to do a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay. Now for a file this size, if I do it higher than about one pixel, it's probably going to fade it out completely. See if I go to six, five, it's just almost completely black. So you want to do it about one Let's see, one, there we go. Now see it's kind of blobby here, sort of blobby, you know, some white. We're going to fix that here in a second. So, okay, so now I've got this field that's sort of blobby and splattered. Now I go to Image, Adjust, Brightness, Contrast. I'm going to do the contrast up to pop the, pop the white. Brightness down to reduce out all the miscellaneous stuff in the background. And look at that. It's a star field. Okay. Now the reason I use the uh, the uh, dissolve and the Gaussian blur is because if you notice that it creates uneven stuff. If you did some techniques I've seen on the internet, they do all even dots. They're all the same size. Well, I like to do something that's a little, little more random. If you look at here, if you can see this on the video, there's some bigger dots, some little dots, some are smeared, some are doubled, that sort of thing which is a little more random like what it would be in in nature here's a neat example right there it created one big star and a little star so that looks like a double star system there's another one right there looks like a little double star system right there and right there okay there now we've got our basic white and black background of stars now we're gonna create a new layer now all stars are not white so we're gonna create some colored stars now so I need to create another layer of black to start with. So I'm going to use the bucket tool with black. Okay, now I've got my black layer. Now I'm going to do filter, noise, add noise. Okay, now I want to have this set to Gaussian and, and uncheck the monochromatic. If I had it set to monochromatic it would just all be black and white. So we've got it to colored instead of monochromatic. Now here you can see, ooh, look at all those colors. Okay, but we don't want it that bold, that bright. So we're going to keep this fairly low. Okay, so like maybe around 9 or 10. Okay, there. Now I'm going to do an image adjust, brightness contrast again to pop the stars out. This will pop them up, make them much brighter. I'll reduce the brightness, in increase the contrast. I just go up and down one and the other. I sort of mix and match. There we go. Okay. Now if you can see this, here I'm going to zoom in. Now see there's a bunch of different stars here. Green, red, blue, all that sort of thing. 
Alrighty. Now I'm going to take this layer with the color stars on it. I'm going to set it to screen. And what screen does is anything that's black is like a screen and you can see through it. Oh, there you go. Now the white star showed through. Sweet. Okay, so there we got our star field. We've got white stars, we got colored stars, we got black areas, we got blobby stuff. Looks a little more natural. I've seen other other uh, attempts, but I think this is the quickest and easiest. Alrighty. So that will be the end of part one, creating a star field. Come back for part two, where we're going to be creating some very easy nebula using using some filter techniques with uh, uh, filter clouds and uh, brightness contrast and some coloring. Alrighty. If you enjoyed this video, please go to my website, ccgsales.ws. There's no www. Just ccgsales.ws, and I've got some interesting uh, business propositions for you. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Add your comments to my YouTube video. And I look forward to seeing you in Part 2, Creating Nebula.